Hi everyone, it's Nikki from Petomania Stop here. I'm on my quest of trying to fix my sublimation printer color. Um, as some of you may know from my previous video, I was asking for help on fixing my color blue. And I've even reached out on some of the Facebook groups and no one has been able to offer any help. I was doing this t-shirt in one of my other videos and the blues are very dark compared to what I see on the monitor. This is what the image looked like on my computer before I printed it. So you can see that the blues are quite light and there's like white in there, especially in the C where it says C. It's very light, but when I sublimated it onto my shirt, it was very dark. So my goal today is to fix the color because when I made this shirt, it came out way darker than what the image itself looks like. So that is why we're going to be printing out a whole bunch of subly flowers with different ICC profiles to see if we can find one that will make this look more like it's supposed to. What I'm starting with is I have these subly flowers, which I got from Jennifer Maker's website that shows all the different colors. And I am just printing every ICC profile I could find. And then I'm going to press them all onto a shirt and see which colors match the best. Now, the very first one was just the one that was on my Epson and it was just already there in my profile. So I thought I would try it. And I can tell already that this one is quite dark on all the shades. So I'm not even sure I'll press this one. We'll see how much space I have left on my shirt. Um, then I, have, I had a second Epson one on my... And you can see that it's quite different from the other one. There's a lot of different shades here. Like this blue here is a lot lighter. And, you know, the petals are just, they range in different colors. Like even right here, this is more green than that. And of course, don't forget, this hasn't been sublimated yet. So the colors are going to change. This is just from the printed lighter pattern that happens when we first print them out. So those are the two profiles that were already on my account. Then I found... This one here, from it came up in my settings as EP4 Mac. So I don't know if that was supposed to be for a Mac and I'm using Windows. Um, if I compare it to that original Epson one, again, you can really see the difference in the blues. Especially like right here to here, like those are really different. Um, and then... My The ones that I've been using, like the one that I used for the t-shirt that I just showed you, was one of these two. And basically, Ink Owl and Ink Pot are both, to me, they look identical. So these two profiles that I, ICC profiles, everything looks the same. So I think these two are basically the same profile. Um, they all look identical so these two I'm just gonna press one of them and then I'm down to hippo and a sub now my ink itself is a sub not hippo but there's quite a bit of difference between these two this one's a lot more faded so like if we go over here those two blues are very different those two blues are different. Those two blues are different. Um, like They're very different. Like the purple, like that purple versus this purple. And then keep going all the way around and you can see that these two are very different. Like in this green here is a lot darker than that green. So it'll be interesting to see how these two turn out. And sorry, there's one more I did and it was a custom where I went in and changed the brightness to seven, con I mean, brightness nine, contrast seven, saturation 15, and density four. 
And if I can compare that to the hippo, again, it's quite different. Um, I actually, I mean, on this paper, I like this one. It's got the most, to me, it looks perfect. But whether or not when I sublimate it, it'll look as good as this, I'm not sure. So let's head over to my heat press and press a few and see what we end up with. Okay, so I'm getting these ready to go. Uh, at the moment, I have four of them on here. This is Hippo, ASUB, my custom one, the one that was called EP4 Mac. And I'm gonna press these now. I'm using my new HTV Raunt heat press, which so far I'm really loving it. And I'll put a link in my description for you guys because it's like such a good press. Okay, here we go. I love how it automatically goes down. And when it's done, it's going to automatically come up for me. So we'll just let that go. Okay, that popped up for me. Pull this out now. Let's we'll let this cool down a little bit before we reveal the first four. Okay. Let's reveal some of these guys. Okay, this one was the EP4. This one was the A sub. Let me peel them all off first. Then we can look at them a little bit better. Okay. Okay, so this one is the Hippo. This was the custom one. It actually, looking through my camera, this looks way better than, you know, when I'm looking at it in person, but I'm not sure what it looks like in the end for you guys. Um, what else? I was worried about the blues. So again, yeah, I see like this versus that blue. This one over here, the blues are like all just aqua. It doesn't, you can't really see it on your end, but pretty much all of this is very similar shade here, except for this one blue right here. This one here has distinct blue shades. This one here has distinct blue shades, and so does this one. But what I think I'll do is I'll have to print that same design again, uh, the one that I did on the t-shirt. And press that one with my runner-ups and then I'll see which of those ones looks looks the most like what I expected it to be but anyways I have three more of these things to press so let me press those ones too okay here's the last three that I want to press Okay, let's reveal the last three now. This was the ink pot or ink owl. They seem to be the same, so I only did the one. And then, yes, I was correct on the Epson one, which was the RGB 1.8. It's very dark, but I knew that was gonna be that way. And then this was my default Epson profile, which actually <laughs> kind of like that one. It's got a lot of, sorry, it's got a lot of different shades of green in here. And then a lot of different shades of blue. It's got like sort of two oranges, a couple reds, and then it goes into... The burgundy purples that's actually not bad and that's just the one that came with my printer 
Now this one, which is the Ink Pot and Ink Owl, and this is the one I think I was using on that print. Well, see, that's interesting. On this, this is the same number as this one, and this one's quite green, and this one's yellow. So again, I'm going to have to compare on what it's what these colors, what these numbers on here mean, and what their colors are actually supposed to be, and then maybe that will help me make a decision and when I do I analyze these a little bit more I will try and give you guys my findings okay now that I've had a chance to look at this more closely I think my winner is the hippo one it was it, it actually came up on my profile settings as hippo and a sub so I'm guessing it's hippo ink with a sub paper um, the next one for me is the a sub now my ink itself that I am using is a sub so there's a sub paper and there's a sub ink so I went to the a sub website to get the ink profile and that's what this one was my printer is an Epson eco tank 2400 so this test will be different for everybody depending on what ink you have in it and what printer but if you happen to have the same printer as me and you're using a sub ink then i can help you by saying the hippo icc profile i believe is the best and the reason is after comparing these to the actual color wheel we go back to my computer here and we can see what the color wheel is supposed to look like. We can see that really there's only supposed to be this one yellow tab here and then a couple orange shades. This one's really red. And then they go into pink shades, moving into purple. None of mine really had, not that I noticed, had this really distinct red like on the computer here. Uh, and then it's kind of a purplish moving into dark blue and then moving down to lighter blues. And then I guess this one is a transition between blue and darker green. And then we go around to the regular greens and then like an olive color before going into yellow again. So that is what we were aiming for. There is only supposed to be one uh, section of yellow, which this one has. And then it kind of has two shades of orange and then it goes up and the colors here are, are pretty good for the shades of purple and then they go into blues and then there's like a darker green and then they go into the lighter shades of green this one is pretty good as well it has the one yellow at the bottom there and the two oranges it's um the colors in here are just a little bit different than over here, the shades. So still not 100% sure, but I think I'm going to try this one. I noticed on the custom one, even though it looks good on here, it has these two yellow ones side by side and it's not supposed to have are not supposed to be two, two yellow ones like that. Also, these shades here are very close together. Or, well, actually, no, they're not. They're different. I think I'm, re I'm referring to the next one. Um, but the fact that there's the two yellows when there should only be the one, I think the other one's supposed to be part of the green section. I'm going to rule out the custom one that I did. And this one... The oranges don't look that orange like it's really hard for me to film this but if you can compare it to this orange here like these two oranges here versus these two oranges they're not very orange so that one was the EP4 Mac one so I don't care much for that one this is the ink pot one which is the one I've been using for my shirts and the colors are just a little bit more muted, like the oranges aren't quite as orange. And this is the one where I'm referring to. There's a lot of similar 
blues tones in here, which might explain why my shirt, which had a lot of blue on it, just looked all dark. So I'm going to rule out that one. The one that came with my Epson printer is this one. And actually, it's not bad. It's just that the yellow down here isn't that vibrant. But it has a lot of shades in here. But again, it's just, it's a little bit darker. So it doesn't have the nice yellow that these ones do over here. See how this is the hippo one? How bright these are? The oranges and the yellows are like really good. So this is my winner. So I recommend that if you're having trouble and you have the similar printer to me and if you, obviously if you're using hippo ink it's probably perfect but I'm using a sub ink so basically the problem that I was asking was that I was downloading new ICC profiles and they were not showing up in my list here and so I was trying to get advice on how can I get them to show up because I looked online for ICC profiles and how to move them into your Windows system drivers color folder. The only problem was is that the last few that I did, my computer was just upgraded to Windows 11. And so even though I was doing that, they weren't, they still weren't showing up no, no matter how many times I reset my, or restarted my computer or open and closed Adobe. They just were not showing up. So I was getting really frustrated. Um, whereas before all the other ones just showed up automatically and I really didn't have to do much. So I did some research today and uh, for Windows 10 and found out I needed to go into uh, just on my computer in the display settings into the actual display settings there like in your monitor display settings and go into the color management tab and in there I think it was an advanced or something I could manually add these extra ICC profiles that I'd been downloading and then now they show up in here so that I was able to now print these new ones out so I can test them I might as well just share actually where I found that information on how to add those profiles that were just not showing up even though I was using the advice on you know how to do ICC profiles but I think that was for Windows 10 and earlier so this is for Windows 11 and this was what they told me to do and uh, so basically you find your color management tab here and in my case, I, I had to change this drop down here. It changed to say uh, my Epson 2400. And then once I had the Epson 2400 on there, I was able to click this add and then add those extra profiles that I wanted. Or actually, I'm not even sure it worked on this page. I may have had to click here first where it says profiles at the bottom right corner there. And then I might have had to go through that process of picking my Epson and clicking add and I found the profiles there because the profiles on this page there was there was hardly anything there was just like one or two so I'm pretty sure I had to click on the bottom right there where it says profiles and then all those extra profiles were showing up and then I was able to add them on so that then they finally showed up in my Photoshop okay so I've reprinted the design that I've been trying to fix and on the top it is the hippo ICC profile and on the bottom here it is the a sub ICC profile these are my top two choices from the subly flower and I can already see a big difference this one printed off a lot darker blue than this one so let's see what they look like when I actually sublimate them on. Okay, since this was just a test, I didn't bother cutting out the two images and I just uh, 
press both of them together but I realized after that, that now there are, one's going to be facing one way and one's going to be facing the other way. Okay. Ooh, see that color is so much better. Um, and then here is, so the one that says the H there, that was the hippo profile. And then this one is the A sub. Is it A sub? starting to forget now there are so many profiles that was my second choice now this is the one that actually is supposed to go with the ink that I have in my printer so let me see if I can get these both together now of course they're upside down so it's harder but you can see how we can see the uh, the sea now and this is still a little bit dark but let me get the original that I did okay so again this was my original one that came out very dark and this was using it was either ink pot or ink owl but I noticed that the profiles are pretty much the same with both of those two and see how dark it came out now keep in mind that this one of course was done on a layer of uh, clear HTV because this is a cotton shirt and this is 100% or close to polyester so um, there is a big difference here. So I definitely will be sticking to one of these two profiles. For this particular shirt, I would have printed it in this one. But in other things, I may prefer this one. It just depends. And yeah. So there you have it. If you happen to have my same printer, Epson 2400, and if you're using A sub ink, then I would go with either the Hippo ICC profile or you can go to ASUB's website and download their profile off of their website. And these two seem to be working so much better than that one did. And I want to give special thanks to Jennifer Maker for all her subly flower designs that she has done so that I could perform this test. Um, I have watched many of her videos that has helped me on my journey with sublimation. Take care, everyone.